I remember the day Trudy died. And I believe it was a Sunday. I saw the casket come out of the church on TV. It took me back for a minute. It was like, this is going to upset a whole lot of fags. <laughs> People may have forgotten, uh, but pride marches grew out of a celebration and remembrance of the Stonewall riots, which erupted the night after Judy Garland's funeral. What do you think of the theory that her death helped spark the riots? This concept that there was some kind of connection is bullshit. But my community of gender non-conforming folks, you know, and Judy Garland's death was Judy Garland's death, you know. I don't you know, think there was any connection to the Stonewall riots. They don't realize, you know, who this bar belonged to, that it was trans women and trans men. Everybody wanted to shake this country up and be treated fairly and to not be subjugated to the abuses from the powers that be because you're trans or you're gay or you know, all of that crap. After Stonewall happened and getting my nerves together and talking with my friends who was really still shook up over losing her, they were playing all of her popular music. After the major cuts, she sang some other stuff I hadn't appreciated her before then. Her voice just seemed to arrest me. I felt caressed by her. It seemed as if she understood. You can't help but appreciate somebody who looks at you and sees who you are. She made the gay community feel as if it had the right to be whoever they needed to be. Her connection to people was really, really genuine, and the fags just loved her. She's like an icon for those guys, and they pass that down. You know, it's like, oh, if you're going to do it, you should do Judy. For drag queens, she was just the best thing to imitate. She struggled like all of us struggle, and that's what connected to folks, you know what I mean? She was so important to the community, you know, and not just the gay community, but to the community of man.